Hello, David here, and I want to show you that um, what we used to do in industry when we had to dress out in protective clothing is we would put on our cotton gloves before we put on our nitrile gloves. I mean, I worked when they were vinyl, but anyway, and what that does is allows it it allows you to put the gloves on very easily especially if your hands are sweaty in the hot summertime and also allows you to remove them as part of the undressing procedure when you're coming out of a contaminated area but we're not worried about that all right so in my feed since I did a video on this Honda trimmer here I guess the feed sent me some videos and one of Steve's small engine saloon videos that he had done in the past um, had a uh, demonstration of where some of the grease points were on a steel uh, trimmer. Well I have a Honda trimmer and I just did the other end. I did the working end as it were. Did a video on that and unfortunately he sent me to the manual. Oops. So I have my shop manual over here, Ta-da! which you can buy from Honda directly for around $40. It's like $39.95 and I live in Virginia, I have to pay tax, so it's a little over $40, bucks. free shipping. So anyway, look it up if you want one. Anyway, I read it and there's a grease point right here for the shaft, for the... Uh, spring as it were that big long spring that runs down the entire length of the shaft well there's a you need to grease the whole thing which I'm gonna do and you also need to grease this in so let's uh, do that alright I drained the gas for a couple of reasons but mainly because the cap is pointed down and the gas will go through the vent and onto my bench but also it's good practice so what we have is we have two bolts, if you will. Uh, one will keep the shaft from twisting and turning, so that hole, I mean, that bolt goes all the way into the shaft itself, kind of like the other end. So I've already greased up the head of the trimmer, but what I did not get was uh, greasing the entire length of the shaft and I have never since purchasing greased this end of the shaft. So let's take it apart and see what's there. So don't take any man points away from me from, by uh, the fact that I read the manual but 11.4 uh, uh, shows you the end. You can see the little grease gun right there. And then 1114, there's also a little grease gun right there. And then the words give you some more information. And you can see there's a spring, there's a shaft, uh, a guide. They're calling it a bushing. Makes sense. So we have the cable, the bushing, and then the shaft, which they're calling a frame pipe. So this part right here is the frame pipe. They're calling this the clutch gearbox, clutch outer spine. So that's what they're calling that. So let's take some things apart here. All right, this is a Phillips head screw. So it's round. There's no putting a hex on there, hex socket or screw or whatever so let's see if this comes off All right. that was not bad 
Alright, this is a hex and it is a five millimeters. And that too was not bad. So I'm just going to remove it completely. And let's see what we have. All right, I have some electrical wiring here. I'm going to try and keep that intact. Let's see if it'll come out. I mean, it's definitely coming out. You can see the hole here that the screw will go through to realign the shaft. And it's getting tight. All right, there are two screws. You can tell the difference. Uh, there's a large screw here and a large screw here on the opposite corner and that frees it up. You do not have to take out all of the other screws and remove the half and all that other stuff. So now it's free wheeling. So I don't have to worry about stressing the line. There is the throttle cable and then there is the kill switch wire, electrical wire. So I have a physical cable and an electrical wire but it moves smoothly now I should be able to pull this out let's see if it comes out this time oh my that is really long too isn't it and we're out and I'm gonna go ahead and take it off I'm sure I was out of camera, out of the shot, but I just took it off so that I can uh, get the uh, frame, as they're calling it, out of the way. Okay, as far as looking down here, I can smell a little oil. I really don't see anything. It's not like really packed in there or, you know, anything unusual. I definitely see where the oil separated out of the grease. It looks more liquidy than it does uh, gooey. Let's see. I know cameras are kind of weird sometimes. You can see it better with your eyes. All right, so that is the engine end. I'm not worried about it. All right, this is our main subject area, and it looks like it's just going to slide right out, so I am not going to take everything apart. I'm not going to pop these uh, bushings out or the guide tube or anything like that what I'm gonna do is pull this completely out and there might be some marine grease on the other end very little I don't even know if you can see the color so what I'm gonna do is uh, grease this up and put it back in Alright, clean, 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 because I'm anal like that. I'll just wipe this off. Like I said, I'm not going to pull the bushings or the shaft. There's really no need to. Next, Honda says use NLGI 2. I have 1.5. Two is a general grease, but I like this waterproof uh, green grease for my general purposes. If I need to use a specific grease, I will, but I don't see that need in this case. All right, now I'm going to put on my grease applicator. Um, I've worn double gloves quite a bit in addition to the cotton and nitrile gloves. Sometimes when I work in contaminated areas, I've had to wear double gloves. So that is not new. So let's find the end here and start greasing this guy up. Just gonna get plenty on there. Now this is a fairly small hole. Great, now I wanna show the camera. All right, here's the end. You can see the bushing and then the shaft that the uh, spring cable rides into, which I've just mispronounced 
the name of the parts according to the Honda manual. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to grease it up and put it down in there. Alright. So, I started greasing it up. Just get it started here. And just run it on through. Just kind of wipe it all off of my hands here. So I run it down through. Pick up some more. Starting to feel some resistance here. Alright. Fun stuff. And it says to put it on the end. So let's do that. All right, now I can take my greasy glove off, throw that away, and I have a clean glove ready to go. All right, reassembly seems pretty straightforward. Just uh, slide this guy on first. Let me get some of that excess grease off of there. So let's maneuver everybody into position here. Pretty easy. And let's see, where is that screw at? Well, the alignment hole is not going to reveal itself for a while here, it turns out. Uh, let's see. Get this started here. It's fun with the camera being in the way here. Trying to keep my hand out of the way. It's not going to happen. Hang on. All right, I stood it up on its end so the motor was the heavy end pushing down and it went this far. The end of the drive cable is up against the uh, drive shaft there, if you will. And now I need to. Um, get it to line up so it'll slide together and I don't know if turning the head will do it or twisting it so let's see how I get it in there oh twisting did it so just uh, twisting did it got it in there now the fun part is to line up the hole here with where the screw goes and bolt it back together. All right, that was pretty easy. I could look right down there and see what was going on as far as lining the hole with where this guy is gonna go. Let me turn it down, way down to like a two. All right, let's zip this guy down in there. Oops. All right, it's just a two. I'll snug it up here in a little bit. We'll clamp it down here. Put the old clamp it on there. And I'll do it manually. Oh, gotta flip that around too, geez. So, righty-tighty. But I'm not gonna put He-Man of the Universe I think it actually said four newton meters, which is pretty small. There, that's four. I think this was four and that was five newton meters, around 30 inch pounds for you Americans. Now we got this guy wiggling around all over the place. So we will just uh, tighten them down. We'll line that up, get it kind of snuggly in my on camera, barely. All right, let's move the camera over here to this one. 
That's it. I didn't do anything to these screws here. See? All right. Okay. Fun stuff. Now we are all lubed up. 